Okay, so <clears throat> we have some different ways that we're going to move graphs around, and we'll look at this again throughout the year, but um, graphs can get shifted left, right, up, down, and they can get re uh, reflected a couple different ways. This is going to focus on just the shifts left, right, up, and down. So it's not a complicated thing to do, but it does take some kind of memorization. A lot of times you can put them in a calculator to see exactly what happened, but it, you've got to be careful with what you're doing. Uh, if, if it's going up or down, up or down, the adding or subtracting will come after the f of x or the g of x or whatever. It won't be inside the parentheses. So I'm going to put after parentheses. For left and right, it's going to be inside the parentheses. All right, so right and left is inside the parentheses. But the issue with this is it works the opposite of what you would think. So I'm going to put inside parentheses. And it goes the opposite from what you would normally think. Opposite of, um, I'm going to put common sense. Meaning if you add a number inside the parentheses, it goes left. If you subtract, it goes right. All right. Whereas the other one, if it goes up and down, that makes sense. So you have to be careful. There's a complicated explanation for why it does that. Um, but the best bet for these is just to memorize what happens uh, so that when you can then go down to this example and do some of these problems.